So what are the best GMT games out there? We've put together a list of our top 10 here today on Legendary Tactics. Okay, Cax. So, so I am really excited about this list. Yes. I, I love GMT. Yes, so this is they do some great, great games. Okay. And we're, we've, each, we've each picked five. Our top so, five. We had to arm wrestle over a few. Yes, but. because technically, <laughs> like, your games are on my, would be yeah. on my list. Yeah, there's a lot of, cro a lot, a lot of crossover 10, here, so, right? Yeah, so, so we'll just keep it to, to, to our... Five each. Five each, and we'll go back and okay. forth, okay? Right, so Start with your number Alrighty, five. so the very first one I have, and this is probably the newest one I've learned, Apocalypse Road. Fantastic game. game you just showed us recently, yes. and yeah. we had a playthrough of it, and it is a great, great car racing game. Yes, like a Mad uh, Max, Mad like Max kind of feel to it. That's yeah. right, go destroy things. It just, just fantastic game. So yeah. really, a lot of fun. You get yeah. lots of different cars, lots of counters. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Multiple racetracks. Uh, yeah, which you can. I love how GMT always puts their boards in, in plastic, plastic like wrap. this. Yeah, you don't see that with any other what publishers. Multiple. Oh, that's what you meant by multiple boards. I thought it was like there's multiple sided. There's boards. actual two there's different multiple boards. Multiple boards. Wow. Yeah. So I'm still so, learning stuff about this game. So yeah. anyway, um, but uh, yeah, anyway, amazing game. But what was interesting is you had a comment. We were on the drive up here. You were talking about yeah. Yeah, this game. Yeah, and how much you enjoyed it. But what what struck so, you the most? So about it? I, I'd have to say the thing about uh, the, the thing about Apocalypse Road was we played for an hour and a half. Yep, and it was the blink of an eye, and I think it's the sign of a great game. Yeah, when you literally don't know where an hour and a half went, and because <laughs> it's just you're so engrossed in the game. And yeah. I, so that was an insta. It's on my list. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. So, so totally, that's a would you great agree choice. with that one? Oh yeah, yeah. I think it's. I don't know if it my top ten. That's. A, I'd have to really think about it. Yeah. Um, but, but it's, you like it's it. up there. It's I, lo good. I love the game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So certainly a good one. Apocalypse Road. Yeah. Don't overlook it. Okay. So my number five is Skies Above the Right. Skies Above the Right. Now, yeah. This okay. game is a really unique, unique game. One to four. Um, it's a solitaire game. Solitaire, okay. Um, but what's really interesting about it? You've done some it, content. On this. I've done some content on it where I kind of dramatize this. Right. Whatever, That's this one. Okay. I want to just dig down and and again the board. Okay. Is rule book. First off, right, right away. Observation. Rule books. Well, the rule Beefy. book is set up though yeah, that look. you don't actually need to read the rule book. You oh. can actually just reference the rule book as you go as you and they go. walk okay. you through. But I'm just gonna take this board. Do you know beat. who does it? Uh, who the designer is? Yeah, uh, it's Jerry. Oh boy, what's his last name? Jerry White and Mark Asta Asted. Okay. Um, and the the board though is so neat. I just want to show you this real quick yeah, because yeah. you have these bomber formations, right. and you basically take your uh, airplanes, which are these wooden blocks, and okay. you fly them around through the formations, oh, and they get shot at and everything. Neat. Neat, neat, it neat, is neat, neat. completely unique. Yeah, and it really feels like you are. Uh, you know, flying You're around these in bombers. That kind of situation. You got only so much gas. You only wow. have only so much time to to fight them, and you got to okay. do as much damage as you can. Excellent. It's a really, really could excellent this turn game. into? Because I know some of the solos can turn into like almost like a, a cooperative. You could play cooperative. Would that work for this or um, not really? Yeah, you could. Yeah, it, it's because uh, you can actually. Uh, divide up your squadron into two fighter squadrons, and each each player takes one okay. squadron, and, okay. and that works uh, really well for. It does. Uh, so team it's play. it's a possibility. Absolutely, and it does tell a really neat story. Right. Um, because uh, it it plays out very much like. Uh, you know, I don't want to say video game, but it's almost like that kind of feel where yeah, it's like yeah, you got yeah, your yeah. pilots and flying them in, yeah, and you're really kind of manipulating and you can things. Play a campaign and... as well, so you can follow the, right. the, the story history, line. the story, who survives, and who, like a narrative, I guess, unfolds in it. Yeah, and uh, it's a really, really Very easy cool. to play game. I re it it looks more complicated than, uh, than yeah, because uh, so. those 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 yeah. like the stack of books are kind of would ward me off. Yes, but, but for you, no, not at all. It's no, actually I... you'd really you'd Very really cool. enjoy this. So okay, that's my number five. So yep. for my number four, it's currently uh, I didn't bring it, so it's not here. Oh, but okay. we're going to talk about it, and <laughs> yes. it's called it's Cuba Libre. Yes. Okay, it's part of the coin series, and 
First and foremost, uh, one of the factions in it is my actual birthday, the <laughs> yeah, July 26th. July 26th. <laughs> so uh, that doesn't bias you at all. That was an instant fall in love, right? Yeah. When it, whenever a game has my birthday in it, so. Uh, yeah, so I love it, but I also really love the, the game's fun too. Yes, uh, it's a great of the coins. It's my favorite, of course, yes. and um, I we, I really like it. You've you've, you've termed it yes. as the knife fight in a telephone booth. I, I stole that from a review on Board Game Geek, but yes, that's yeah, a, yeah, yeah. I think and it's a very, very true. It's a very small map. Yeah, and you have a lot. Now you've you've said that there's parts of it that that frustrate you. Yeah, as far I as find like it you, can be more events, swingy depending on the timing of event, certain card, card events. There's some yeah, really over not my OP cards. I like it, but um, I think they're better coin games. Right, um, which, we, we'll touch which we may that. or may not yeah, find we it may later. Or may not later. <laughs> All right, All right move my along. number four, um, and I haven't played this in a while. I would love we to get this with this. Yeah, long Early time years ago. ago. Yeah, many I'd years love ago. to play this with you again. It's No Retreat, the Russian Front. Um, I actually now, there's have other versions whole, of this too, right? Well, there, there's four in the series so far, okay. and I have them all. Wow! Um, but I, I and I'd love to get them to the table with you sometime. But this one is the 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 the, the one the original, the granddaddy. It's the most, and it's the simplest because is they it? do get more involved okay. as the series progresses. Okay. But this one, just for recreating history in a playable way, I think it's just, really great. Just it's really hex sharp, encounter, eh? but it does um, have these combat cards that. Uh, you can drop in there to really change things up. Yes, okay. And, I remember uh, it had like the dual events, right? For got, each yes, side? Yes, so events for each side. Right, and, right, right, right. Yeah. And anyway, great game. Uh, really recommend it if you haven't had uh, And it it's a World try. War II, I'm guessing. World right? War II Russian okay. Front, which Are is actually other... a very kind of cliched topic in some ways. There's lots of games about it, but this one is just the low counter density. Yeah. It's straightforward, but it, it just does it such a, a great job. It had a bit of card driven yeah. mechanic, as so, I remember. Yeah, part of it. Yeah. Partly. Uh, partly, yeah, it's card influenced, I guess. Okay. Uh, but uh, Very just cool. a fun game, really. Yeah, fun. yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, number three for me. Uh, moving right along to Labyrinth, mm -hmm. the War on Terror. And yes, uh, this was one. like one of our earliest, yes, kind of uh, you know, uh, dives into yes. GMT, and uh, a lot of fun. Yes, I really enjoyed it. Yep. Um, great game. Yeah. There's been a lot of expansions to it. Yes, and that we have we haven't we really have, gotten into. Uh, yeah, we haven't played them, but I, I own them. <laughs> right, <laughs> or we have played them once through, but yeah. Yeah. Anyway, it's a, it's a great game. This one There's... might not be for everybody. No, no. Uh, but uh, you know what? It's just it's a lot of fun. Yes, I find it really engaging, and uh, you know a lot of uh, like historical kind of based events, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And uh, yeah, so and I'm also looking forward to actually getting those expansions to the table. Yes. And trying them out as well. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a really kind of unique design. At the time, it felt a lot like Twilight Struggle. But Probably the more we we've played it, the more it's really kind of it's, it, done, it does alone, its yeah. own thing. It's yeah. uh, I, yeah. I can remember some like just th this this brings with us some very vivid moments of, of Nate like completely dominated a game and all he needed to roll was like a <laughs> oh, one to yeah. four, oh. and it took him. I don't even know. Did you win that game? I won eventually. But it took but him it like just, ten turns, oh. and he kept rolling five or six or five or six oh, or for whatever it was. So it was you were you were yes. like you had like two <laughs> thirds of the dice to roll and never. And anyway. Yeah. But great game. We have we have covered that game a lot on yeah. the channel already. It's, we do, it's we do like it. It's a, it's a good one. <clears throat> okay. My number uh, three, I guess. Three, yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, Space Empires 4X. This is the, the kind of the little game that could, or maybe the big game that could. <laughs> it's big. Um, it's big. As far as the graphic design goes, it's not the most exciting looking game, but this game has so much in, in it, especially with the expansions. Um, there's just so much cool, cool stuff. It's that whole, you know, explore, uh, you know. The uh, player chart was what I was. Explore, expand, of... exploit, exterminate, right? The, uh, the There's tons of these counter look things. At these, look at these score sheets there's though, right? Score these, sheets. these score sheets are something to be old. And, and like reference charts here. There's oh, yeah. like, oh my gosh. Yes, and the ship, ship technology, technology sheet. sheet. It, hi, hi, hi. I've, I've, I had some friends at Sauce playing it and called it Spreadsheet, the game. Spreadsheet. But you know what? Didn't Which, they sit down with you and by the end they were like hooked? Not them. Oh, but, okay. Others? But, <laughs> yeah, the other, ki the other play people were playing with were the just game. loving it. Don't be fooled. And the map doesn't look like much. The counters don't look like much. But it is uh, really, really. It's a, a compelling great game, game, isn't it? It is very compelling. I was totally 
blown away at how compelling this game is. It really, really holds so up. So it's kind of deceiving. Yes, absolutely. So right, you look at it, and you, you go, ah, think of it, a bunch right, of counters, a bunch posh, of counters, but then and it just yeah, sucks you in. Just sucks you in. Uh, you, you basically are developing your ship, though, right? You're developing your 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 civilization. Civilization. So, yes, and you're building and your up ships, your technology, plural, yeah. building up uh, the the larger and larger ships, and having giant battles and all that great stuff. Okay. So, yeah, great game. All right, moving along then to my number two. 1960 now, I do realize this is the Z-Man edition, but it is. GMT I, did make an edition They too, did, right? yes. They got their own. Yeah. So, <coughs> GMT does have a 1960 version, I think it's the same game, mm -hmm. same game. Yep. And, by the way, great game. Absolutely a great game. Yes. This is another one that we, we've we actually had a lot of games on. Oh, we've yeah, done, we've, we've done a lot, of, a lot of coverage yeah. on this game. Yeah. Uh, it is the, it's the 1960 election. It's the election, correct? Kennedy versus Nixon. And yeah. Uh, yeah, you get to uh, uh, battle it out in, in uh, what feels like an election. There's even a little debate, which is covered by this little card. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just it's a it's a really well designed game. Card some, driven, card driven, yeah. tons of cards. And I, I forget, is it just one big stat? There's no early late. The, there's middle no election. early late middle. Uh, so elections. it's just all, it's all the cards all just the jammed into one. There. But it's 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 a lot of like kind of historical events. Characters oh, yeah. pop up, right? Yeah. yeah. It's so different. Really, uh, really Henry great. here's Henry Cabot Lodge, a very powerful card. Yeah. Believe. We've... Yeah. And you've got all these kind of like campaign uh, tokens and state uh, uh, seals and all this stuff, endorsements and yeah. media. It's a really, really. It's well a really done great game. back and forth kind of yeah. game, and Lots uh, of fun. really enjoy it. Yeah, and very accessible for. Uh, I like the, its balance too. Yes, it's got great balance. Oh yeah, but yeah. where like you know no, no neither side is never out of it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it. it's yeah. great. Well, I have played one or two games where it was really lopsided, but for the most part, yeah, it comes down it, to the it, wire. it really does. Yeah. You're count. You're counting up your your uh, your states at the end there, yeah. right? And you're yeah, just seeing do you have enough. So my number two, I don't have here with me. You have a, actually the copy that we have played. Um, so I don't, I didn't know we were uh, going to do this list at the time. So I didn't yeah, really yeah, tell yeah, you to bring yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, 1989. Oh, great, great game. Great, great game. Dawn great of game. Freedom. It is very, very similar to Twilight Struggle. Um, not not exactly the same. No, but uh, because you have those, those decks, power, the, the power, the power, power decks, struggle right? decks. Power, yeah, <laughs> you know. But um, it is a really really fun variant variation on the same theme. So if you like mm -hmm. Twilight Struggle, you're you going to like eighty nine. Yeah, you will love eighty nine as well, and for different reasons. Yeah, because it again it does play out a bit differently, but I think it really captures that whole uh, part of history yeah, it really uh, does. with the fall Looks of the, like iron, the curtain iron Curtain yeah, and yeah, all yeah. that sort of thing. I yeah. think it captures it really well, really recommend it, and we really need to do some content on that. Absolutely. On Legendary Tactics. I love that. I love that idea. We right. to, yes, yeah, so and... Uh, and number one? You know what, I, for, for my number one, I, I can't, you can't go without this one, right? This is, this is kind of, this is like, <laughs> you know, this Twilight Struggle. Right, Twilight yeah. Struggle. You gotta have it. It's gotta yes. be there. It's gotta be number one. This yes. this game. This is like the monopoly in. of GMT. yes. Uh, yeah, this there is you like go. Their, their, it is yes. <laughs> right. Yeah. And would this be your number one? Uh, yeah, probably. If we were Making doing your, individual lists, yeah, yeah it would the, probably the top ten, uh, right? Yeah, be my number one. It's yeah. just, but you know, just summarize before you get in. Just touching on that, the uh, next uh, thing you're about to bring out. What is it that really makes this game memorable oh, for you? A hundred percent, the tensions. Yes. Right. Yeah. Like, your stomach is churning all <laughs> game long. Yes. You just don't know. Like, you're just like everything. You're on the edge of your seat. Yes. And, and if it's not like, if it's not churning because of what you have to mitigate in your hand, it's mid, it's churning on what your opponent's going to lay down. Yes. Right. <laughs> exactly. And so exactly, yeah. and like and don't go into this area, please. Just don't play into this area because I have the scoring card. Yeah. And it's like it's constantly that, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's great. It, it's, it's phenomenal It's sometimes drama. unpleasant to play, oh, but it's really fun I know, to play. That, that, <laughs> I know, and I know that's why Flash hates it, yes, by the way. Yeah, he, he doesn't like to he stress. Does, he doesn't like to stress yeah. the game, but I find it's just, you just, you kind of, you actually finish it kind of feeling exhausted. Yes. Don't you? <laughs> now, you had an honorable mention. I did have an honorable mention. Just bring with, that out. With this one, I kind of tied in. It is very much, well, yeah, I believe so. It yeah. is the Twilight <laughs> Struggle. Uh, latest uh, released uh, Red Sea Conflict in the Horn of Africa, the lunchbox series of Twilight the story of Twilight Struggle really yeah it's like a Twilight Struggle Junior yep yeah Twilight also Struggle great. is 10 turns this one is two, two. turns yeah um, focused on a much smaller area and, so. and and a great game as well and I and I didn't want to overlook it I wanted to bring it up because it, in the mention because it uh, 
it really follows what Twilight Struggle yes. is doing. Yep. Right? There's there's a few little nuancey things, yes. but nothing too grand. And what I do also thirty five like minutes though. Yes, you can play it in half an hour. I like how they have a thirty five minute game time, but um, <laughs> it's there's also a solitaire version of uh, one to two players. <clears throat> no, yeah, so yeah, you can yeah, play yeah. solo. And uh, which was not possible with the original. No, it's why it's too be... much. Too much going on in that one. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. So. And my last, uh, my my number one here. Um, now I I kind of t thought about this one a little bit, and I'm going to go with Andy and Abyss. Coin. Now it's a coin game. Coin it's game. the first coin game. Yeah, it was actually the one you originally played first. I remember you talking about this originally. Yes, absolutely. And talking how about the unique setup. Yes. But anyway, I'll let you. And and it was such an unusual game. It really took a while for me to get it. Um, but once you get it, it is a really, really neat game. And the reason why I'm putting this at number one, I normally name either Fire, the Fire in the Lake or Distant Plane as my favorite coin games, but I'm going with this one because, to be honest, I've, I've played this one the most because I love the solitaire version. I know that they're revamping the solo versions of these games now um, and, and so forth, but the, the flow chart... Uh, is really, really, they got really, really heavy. Friendly. Fire in the Lake is so tough to play solo is it using a? the fl the flow charts. It's okay. great, but man, you need just, a lot of mental uh, uh, yeah, capacity yeah, to, there, right? to do that. This one though kept it simple but fun, and it was a fun challenge. And I've always loved this this game. It was this the, was the, the original you got too, and, and I, I remember you being really struck by the uh, mechanic. Yes. Oh, there's just so the much four, neat, the, uh, four, the four player, and yeah. just the way the whole mechanics system four, of the coin system yep. worked. You were just four really, player really, asymmetry. Yeah. You don't, you know, at the you time. You were really, it was really just taken so with that, and, and, and then it kind of lured me in, actually. Yeah. So, and then yeah. and, that's great. So and vocal runke. Wow. Vocal, yes. Yeah. So that is our top ten GMT games. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Which put, ones did we miss? Which ones did we miss? Put that in the comments below and while you're down there. Like, make sure you to like and subscribe. subscribe. And if you feel uh, moved to do so, please become a member and support us uh, that way. We'd love to continue to deliver great content. And don't uh, forget to. Get gaming. Be legendary. <laughs> and get out there. <laughs> this is legendary tactics. <laughs> <laughs>